Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today we're going to be showing you how to remove an unwanted object from your clip using Final Cut Pro. Um, now I'll go ahead and show you the original footage I have. Um, it's just kind of this slow moving um, footage of a uh, pretty much desolate highway. This is out in uh, the Nevada um, area. Um, but what I want to go ahead and do is remove my car from this shot to make it seem more kind of desolate and empty and get that sort of feel. Now ideally, um, well first off, you'd rather get this shot and just not have your car in it at all, not have to worry about any of this. But unfortunately I didn't realize till um, post that, hey, maybe I um, this shot would look really cool if it was just empty, um, nothing there. So we're going to go ahead and remove this. Now this also works, it works ideally if you have um, two identical shots of what you want to remove, as in you have a shot like this, and then you have another one where the car is not in it, and you can simply mask it out. But with this, we're going to be using the same um, image to get something more along the lines of this. This is what I was able to um, finish off with. I still have to um, fix some of the fine details, but... Um, as you can see, my car's gone. Um, and this was using the same footage um, um, as masking and overlay. So what you're gonna wanna do first is make a copy of your clip without doing any editing to it whatsoever. And so this down here is my copy, as you can see. Um, well, you can't see now, but if I was to move it out here and then play, you'll see my car's in it. And with this one, it's just an empty mask. So the first step is, once you've copied it, is to get your mask going. Now, um, to do that, you're going to want to go ahead and select your clip, go over here to your effects, and click Masks. Now I use the Draw Mask. It's probably the most um, beneficial and easiest to use for this. So what you're going to want to do is drag it over to this. I'll go ahead and do it on this um, dummy footage I have of the car. So we're going to drag it over to this, set your timeline up with it, and now you'll see um, you're ready to start masking. Now I zoom in because it's far away so I can get a cleaner shot of it, and you're going to want to make sure you're at the beginning here. And we're just going to go ahead and click, 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 mask it. You're going to want to make sure you um, invert the mask so it's you're cropping out. Um, this instead and now the most time-consuming part of this is uh, making your keyframes um, if this was a still image you'd be done you'd overlay this it shine through but unfortunately we're gonna go ahead and have to um, crop it so how we do this or we'll keyframe it so what we do for this is set it up there and we're gonna use our left and right arrow to just move the image very slowly until there's a a noticeable change. These small little things that come out um, are pretty, you won't really notice them in a the footage, especially like this where we're cropping out something so small. And you'll see, now you can see the bottom of the end of my car. So we're just going to click it and drag it down. And then we're going to go over here and make a keyframe. Now we're going to keep doing this over on the arrow, over on the arrow until we notice, okay, we can start to see the car again. Boom, down, keyframe. And then we're going to have to keep repeating this over and over and over and over. Keyframe. Over and over and over and over. Keyframe. Until essentially we'll get something like this. Um, we'll go ahead and blow this up. But as it moves, you see my empty um, black box, so to speak, moving with it. Um, now for something small like this, you don't have to be concerned with details and get every, um, every single frame shot um, cropped up, but um, as long as you get those big noticeable jumps, like there's a couple times if I blow this up that you'll notice, I don't know if I get on the right clip, but you'll notice that I'm moving it over, I'm moving it over, and big jump. So then we move it down there and keyframe it. And then once we get that done, we're going to go ahead and back all this up really quick.
All right. Now that we have um, our keyframe set and it completely masked, we're going to take our original footage that uh, has been edited and we're going to go ahead and drag it and drop it underneath. Um, and now if I play right away, you'll notice, okay, it looks pretty good. But that's also because I transformed it. Now this is the next step. Um, what you're basically going to want to do is move. Um, because if I don't transform this, if I set this back to the original and I keyframe it up and I play it, you'll see oh, the car's still there. That's because the original one that's showing through is showing exactly where that black dot is. So what we're going to want to do is click this down here. It's our transform. There's a couple of different options. Make sure you're on transform and that just moves your image. Now watch this. If I click and drag this underlying one and I move it, you'll see the car disappear. Now the car is gone. What I basically did is just dragged this main image that's a copy and I just dragged it down so that the um, uh, road that's coming ahead, basically on the original one, the road that's up here, I drag the whole image down so it matches up here. Now we're gonna do some more keyframing because if you look, if I just play it from here, it looks good now, but if I blow this up and I start playing, you'll start to see right, right about here, some distortion starts to happen. Right there, you can see the car poking through, and there it is. But for the beginning half of this clip, it's pretty, pretty unnoticeable. So we can go ahead and just play this through and wait. And as soon as we start to see something kind of jump out, like right there, we'll back it up a little bit. Now that that's gone, we'll just move it a little bit again and we'll keyframe that. Now, it's good, good, good. Start to get some distortion. We'll back it up. It's a little bit tricky since this dot's right where I want to be, um, right where I want to be uh, editing it. And you can't really see, but keyframe it again. A little bit there, I mean, you can be the judge of how unnoticeable you want this to be. I'm particularly picky, so we're gonna go ahead and mess it again. You just wanna make sure you get kind of the big standout features in sync, like this white line and this kind of black line. Um, but once you get those in um, sort of sync together, you'll come out with a final footage of something like this. Now you'll see, I might have a little bit more I have to do here at the end. Um, but I mean, right now, for the most part, right there, it starts to jump through a little bit. So I'll have to fix that, but almost unnoticeable all the way till the end. So I, it's very easy to do and the results are almost perfect. So there you guys go. Hope this helps you out a lot and check back for more videos.